Nichiyanaku e Duasak. My name is Wayne Reinhardt, and this is the second of a series of videos at the Sheldon Jackson Museum where I am doing an artist in residence. And this is Cholkat Weaving. In the previous video, uh, we went over the basic two strand twining technique, and in this video, I will share with you a basic um, way to change colors, which we do a lot in Cholkat Weaving. There's a, a series of color changes we have to go through when we're creating the different shapes and um, braiding techniques and ways that we interlock the yarns together. So as I am going over to the end of the yellow border, I'm going to have to interlock it with the black border so it is structurally sound. And I'm still continuing the two strand twining up until the the black border that is coming up in a few stitches here. And there's a little gap like that I can kind of go back later and cinch it up if I absolutely need to, but we try to avoid those as much as possible. Alrighty, so I am approaching the black border, which I have already woven to the end of the black border. and. This will also be a good time to go over the um, how we bring down braids. And so I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the black strand as though I'm weaving from left to right. And I'm going to pick up my yellow weaver, weaving strand, and just simply kind of wrap around it with the black strand. And then I'll do a full wrap around the bottom most, or the the warp furthest to the right that's still going to be a black weaver and then I can kind of turn around and start going from right to left and then I can more or less do the same thing with my yellow weaver so I will continuing continue as though I'm weaving from right to left and then do the turn where I wrap it all strand and then I will continue weaving from now left to right. And now since we have done four rows or two turnarounds um, here, it's time to bring our braids down and these are the braids that will be in the borders so they're quite long so I've done as many slip knots as I can. Sometimes I have to go back and redo them because they come undone, but I am going to bring those braids down. And what the, the braids do is um, they kind of cover up that join there, so, and they help create the lines for the shapes that we make in Chulkat weaving. This is a little, a little bit messier than I would have liked, but my mom always kind of, we have a funny relationship, she'll talk about me making sure my braids aren't messy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the basic um, interlock join. Um, there are other ways to, to do that, especially in the border. There's also the dovetail join, but this is the one that is most commonly, commonly used. Alrighty, thank you.